Hello everyone, this is another MSIA action figure Gundam review. Oh, this time it's the Katsuki and it's the space version where he has the funnel pack. Here's some pictures, here's the figure. Okay, and here's the figure itself. The shining, I mean, the shiny figure. Okay. Arms, I, shoulders on a ball joint, and the figure is pretty cool because it has a double jointed hand. I mean, uh, yeah, its hands are double jointed. You don't see that much in a, a lot of figures, but recently. They have been coming out with more figures with a double joint. The legs, uh, thighs are on a double, are on a ball joint, and the le uh, legs are on a double joint as well. That's why you can go all the way here, all the way back here, and then you can bend it to touch its back. Its feet are on a ball joint as well. It has a little swivel, but that's all. Back and forth. Torso can swivel to the side to side only. Its head can rotate all around. Hand, I mean the hands, uh, arm can rotate all around as well. And now they can talk about the color of this figure. It has a little red top of the cockpit. Little red in eyes with turquoise, uh, turquoise, turquoise eyes and turquoise ca um, color for the camera. And a little gray for joints and to the sides with red thrusters. And everything else is gold and gold except for um, the vents right here and the vents right here in your rockets are copper color. And that's pretty much the color for this figure and uh, articulation for the figure. Arms can do that too. That's pretty cool. Kind of let's go for weapons. Came with a double beam saber, a single beam saber. Funnel pack with one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven funnels in it. Beam rifle. Another beam hilt, I mean beam saber hilt, and uh, eight arms, including the ones that he has right now. And that is a lot of hands. It's two trigger fingers, two open finger, two open hands for um to hold the beam sabers. Actually, you get two sets of these op um, open hands for the beam saber, and two close fists. That's cool. Okay, let's put on uh, this first beam saber. I like the new beam sabers uh, for the figures uh, that been uh, the new releases lately, like from uh, Seed and Double Zero, because they're different shapes and they don't bend as I mean, they don't really bend because it's a hard type of plastic and cool designs on like this one has a roaring thrust I mean a um, beam at it and there goes the box the cool thing about this beam saver which looks like a uh, if you compare it to the savior beam ri uh, rifle it look kinda looks like it but smaller but this beam saber, you can attach the double um, beam hilt into this little peg right here. And now you have a beam gun, a beam saber uh, rifle. I've never seen another uh, figure do this except for the Zeta Gundam in the TV show. But it's pretty cool, they did this. Although the gun doesn't want to stay on with its trigger finger that much. 
see. Still looks cool. And it's shield. This is the figures that I like. Um, the figures I like are uh, about the shields are is that it, this little peg right here. You can easily access it into the the hand easily. I like my previous um, review in the guy gun where it, you can only let the shield be held by the open fist. Where this one, you can put it on its hand and just let it stay on there without actually falling. That's much easier. Okay, now the part that you've been waiting for the funnel pack. Okay, pretty much you. Funnels are all the same. You just have to shove uh, this little thruster peg into this hole. That's how you do it. There's no way you can screw up on putting its funnels because they're all the same. Even these on the side. Actually, seven, seven funnels, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. The only thing that I don't like about the MSIA figures is that a lot of a lot of them come bent, which sometimes you cannot unbend. Even within, uh, even in boiling water, it doesn't want to bend. Like this thing right here. It's supposed to be straight, but for some reason it's going this way. Is this little thing is all just bent all the way there probably a factory error but you shove it here to the back like you do with the other uh, striker packs for strike Gundams and there it fits there's your Akatsuki space type version let's see I saw this uh, picture before where you can sh shove the striker pack into it. Yeah, isn't that cool? The problem about this figure is that the striker packs will fit into this figure, but the um, his pack will not fit into the strike Gundams. See? But it's pretty cool. This nail striker pack fits onto it easily. Okay. This one, um, this figure was pretty good. I got this for about eighteen. But you do not want to buy this figure. Um, for twenty dollars or more, you really do not. It's a little scrawny figure. It's not really worth that. Um, to me, it's not really that worth that much. It shouldn't be at all, though. But if you're getting the just the flight pack for it, uh, the first type I and mean, the first version of it, then you can spend about twenty bucks on it. But for the funnel pack, no. Figures like this with a heavy backpack will n never stand straight unless you have something to make it stand, put something behind it. Yeah, these things, these bulky backpacks, bulky backs a bit. That's the things that really annoy me when uh, you try and pose a Gundam because they're too heavy or they get in the way. Okay, hopefully you guys like this review. Email me if. Uh, you don't if you, actually if you guys uh, didn't like uh, part of the review just email me and so I can fix it and enjoy thank you for watching and hope you can yeah, um, hopefully you guys can see my other gun review bye